of course, that is Stephen King, the man behind the story. Ed, great one of the biggest movies out right now. Now he and his son Owen are teaming up for a new horror blockbuster. It's right here. It's called Sleeping Beauties. Welcome to both of you. Glad to see you guys. Welcome back. I want to talk about the book, but first I got to ask you about it. it. Sort of surprised everybody mm -hmm. with so many people going to see it this summer. What did you think of it? Well, I, I was a little bit surprised by how successful it was, but uh, I think everybody loves a clown, <laughs> and so you know it. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's been a great thing. Yeah, it's it's really been something. And a sequel coming out, I guess, now in 2019 as well. So let's talk about Sleeping Beauties. Oh, and I guess this was your idea. At first, yeah, you know, I we pitch ideas in the family all the time because it's a whole bunch of writers in the family. My mother's a writer, my brother's a writer, uh, and I just said, "How about a story about uh, all the women in the world not waking up one day?" And all my dad, and my, all of them, and my dad said, "That is a great idea." And I said, "Well, why don't you write it?" <laughs> and uh, because I, I wasn't, you know, I I immediately knew it would be horrible and sound like a Stephen King book. So now, this is probably a question you can't answer, but where does an idea like that come from? All the women in the world sleep. Well, you have a where people ask you where you get your ideas, right? Yeah, I used to tell people there's a little used idea shop in New Paltz where I go out <laughs> get my ideas. They, they just, you know, I could tell you where they come from, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> no, I mean they come from everywhere, really. Mm -hmm. And when Owen pitched this idea to me, when he brought this idea up, I just. You know, all the lights went green inside my head, and I said, "There are so many things you could do with this." Uh, I mean, first of all, how would men fold their sh their shirts? Uh, you know, who would clean the the ring in the toilet? Because all these be things that, you know that, that that men don't do, and I thought we got a, a real possibility. But you here. wanted him to write stuff. it, yeah. Yeah. So eventually, we just agreed to collaborate. Yeah. And uh, that was the. That was the compromise. So this was the first time you collaborated. You're yep. both writers, of course. How'd it go? <clears throat> it went well, pretty we, well. It's great. <laughs> Look, we're still here, yeah. you know? <laughs> no, we, we just batted it back and forth. You know, I'd do a section, he'd do a section. We'd rewrite each other. And, you know, I don't, people want us to say we had a bunch of arguments, but we never did. Not one? Very, I don't think so. I don't think we really I mean, did. sometimes he'd, ha he'd have an idea, and I'd be like, no. <laughs> uh, but the same, you know, sometimes I'd have an idea, and he'd say, no. Yeah. He's the uh, youngest of uh, my wife and I's three children, and he's the bossiest. So basically, <laughs> if he says, do this, then I pretty much did that, you know. So, it but worked. it worked out pretty well. We did re rewrite each other, and the result was it, it's almost like a third voice through the book. I defy people to know who wrote what, when sometimes we can't remember, no. can we? Well, everybody here is going to get to find out. I get to play Oprah now. You're all going home. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.